Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here again, and I'm back with another TI Basic Basics programming tutorial. And I know that sounds a little bit redundant, but I don't know. Okay, so in this in the last tutorial I went over display commands and and let's see I went over clear home, display and pause. In this tutorial I'm going to go over variables. Variables are a very useful thing. They allow you to input stuff, all sorts of things. So the first variable, first thing we're going to go over is like numbers. So to store, wait, let's name this program first. Let's just name it vars. To store numbers in variables, so you just type like a number like 78, for say, and then there's a store key. It's right above the on button on your calculator. It should say STO, and then it has kind of like a little arrow or greater than sign, I could, I guess. And that creates an arrow on the screen. So basically, that's saying is what that's saying is we're going to store 78 in A. So if I displayed, if I went down and displayed A with no quotation marks around the A. When there's no quotation marks, it means that you're using a variable. So, it would display 78 on the screen. We run this. Run. See? It displays 78, and then it finishes the program. Another thing you can store in variables is strings. Strings are basically letters or characters, I guess. So, the way you do that is you use quotation marks. So, if I stored Patrick, if I put quotation marks around Patrick, I use the store key, which again is above the on button, and I press vars. It's to the right of the program button and to the left of the clear button. And then I go down to select uh, um, Blech. Selection 7, and it's you see these str variables. Those are strings. So if I store that in string 1, and then I go display vars, 7th down, string 1, and I run this program, it's going to display Patrick. These things are very useful because you can keep reusing things without having to type it out every single time because that takes so long. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time with more TI Basic programming tutorials.